Hey, it's Nooch, and Nooch is so excited because of a new arena team due to the Six Star Ghost. Nooch's buddy EMZ in Nooch's Discord, which you can join down there in the comments or on Nooch's homepage, EMZ shared a screenshot of his arena shard, and there were teams in there using Magisto's Tower, which you see here behind Nooch right now, and Ghost, Wu, Magisto, and Lloyd, and then they were mixing in, they were probably mixing other characters too, but you saw some Garmadons, and you saw maybe some other spooky characters mixed in there as well. Uh, the, the three, the holy magical ghost triumvirate is going to be Ghost, Magisto, and Wu, and then you can kind of mix and match. So let's go over this team and the success of it and the fact that it's got a lot of room to grow for Nooch. So first we have Magisto's Tower, and you can see that we've got only a three-star Magisto's Tower and very limited abilities. The first ability is at level two, and it gives heroes a 30% chance to start battle with one stack of enchantment. When a hero with enchantment attacks, they have a 30% chance to do 50% bonus damage, and it clears a stack of enchantment. And the second ability is also only at level 2, 30% uh, chance to start battle with enchantment, and heroes with enchantment have a 30% chance to counter for 50% damage, and they clear a stack of enchantment, so that's a chance to counter as well. And finally, Magisto always starts with a stack of enchantment, and whenever a magical hero, which for Nooch is going to be Wu and Magisto uses a special ability, allies have a 20% chance to gain one stack of enchantment, which gives them more chances to counterattack or give bonus damage on an attack. And let's take a look at the heroes that Nooch is using in this team, and we'll go over, we're going to show the gameplay here in a minute, but we're using, we're kind of switching out Kelvin and Redbeard. Kelvin for Ninjago's, Redbeard for Pirates. So we got Kelvin maxed out, everything is max. We have Wu. Stick Stars, gear 6.3, level 60, and he still needs a little work on his ultimate and his a couple other abilities, but he's pretty well up there. Uh, Ghost is level 60, gear 6.1, 6 star, and he needs some work on, on all of his abilities, need a little bit of upgrading. Uh, Redbeard's maxed out. As far as we can get him, we, get, we still have apples to get. We got plenty of apples. We started making a little progress in that event today, since we have Ghost and he's an attacker. Um or that challenge anyway, so we'll get more apples. We've got Magisto at 6.4 gear, 6 star, level 60, and doing really well in his abilities. And finally, Lloyd. Lloyd needs work. He's only 5 star. We did get him to gear 6.2 yesterday, but you're going to see in this gameplay, and let's go ahead and roll the gameplay. There we go. So you can see in this gameplay that R Lloyd was very low level for Nooch yesterday. We did get him up to 5 stars. Um, and that gear level, but his abilities, you're going to see that when, when Lloyd does his stealth, he does not ever issue accuracy down because Nooch did not have that ability upgraded yesterday when he was doing this these arena plays. Uh, so we're looking at a team that is very effective against pirates, like super effective against pirates, and also very effective against Ninjago, but this team has a lot of room to grow. Nooch has, has a lot of upgrading he can do with Lloyd. His, Mag his Magisto's Tower is very low level, so those two things right there give Nooch a lot of room to grow with this team. We can still gear up all these guys to gear 7 except for Kelvin. So this is a team that will, will be on Nooch's radar here in the immediate future to move forward because you're going to see a lot of success here against the Pirates and against, uh, against Ninjago teams and Pirate teams that Nooch was not beating with his Pirate team. And finally, so Nooch has been running Pirates and Buccaneers since he started about four months ago, since Nooch, well, three months ago, actually. Since Nooch started three months ago, he's been running Buccaneers and Pirates in Arena. Now we're running this ghost magical team in Arena. It's exciting. You're seeing the gameplay. Looks like we just got rid of Redbeard. So against the Pirates, we're, we're running a base four. We're running Ghost, Magisto, and Wu, which are really the base three you need for this team. Then we're putting in Lloyd for the extra stealth. So with Ghost and Lloyd, we have a lot of stealth. Then we're switching out Redbeard and Kelvin, depending. With, with Kelvin... We really need her for the Ninjagos because she gives an extra 10% health to everybody. And with the levels that this team is at, they need that extra 10% health. We might be able to put in Redbeard once we get everybody's health up. Um, you'll, and you'll see that as we go. But right now, we need Kelvin. 
And she also uh, gives the damage block to Lloyd, which is kind of a big deal. Because if we give damage block to Lloyd and then we give counterattack to Lloyd with Magisto, he can really do a, do, you know, a decent job of tanking. Let's just say that. So here we see with Redbeard against the Pirates. The Pirates, this Pirate team did not have Scarlet. And this is kind of an easy mop-up. Probably could have been autoed, if you want to really be honest about it. So we could have autoed this team, this Pirate team, without Scarlet. You see we're down to the last two. A little bit more of the uh, of the synergies. So Redbeard is good for his cleanse. You know, he really... He's cleansing. We're not going to get that with Kelvin when we go against the, uh, against the Ninjago. And that can matter... It may not matter because since Wu's ultimate kind of gives ability block anyway, you won't get to use that cleanse from Redbeard a lot against the Ninjago. But here we're finishing up the first pirate team. We're gonna we're gonna I think we might auto here in a second. We're kind of getting used to ghosts. You can see each time we're using ghost right now, we're reading the abilities, and I think that's gonna take another several days before we really adjust to who Ghost is, what he does well, which abilities we should use in what order. So we're working on that and trying to understand right now. But even without understanding that, with a low-level Magisto Tower, with a, a really undeveloped Lloyd, we were able to climb to number two in Arena and climb over a bunch of teams that Nooch was really struggling with with his pri Pirate and Buccaneer team. Okay, second battle. We got Redbeard in, the, in there again. We're going to go against the Pirates and Buccaneers with Scarlet this time. So you're going to see this team work against the Pirate team with Scarlet. And these are all really good teams. These are all top 15 arena teams for Nooch. And you're going to see that the top, you know, one, top three to five teams have all got a bunch of Gear 7 maxed out characters, uh, Ninjago specifically. So we went after Redbeard first. The first thing you want to do with this team, because Magisto is going to go first, is use his first special to get clumsy on Redbeard or Kai. If you're fighting Ninjagos, you want it on Kai because you want them to miss their first attack. If you're fighting Pirates, you want it on Redbeard, so he's going to miss. If he counterattacks, he's going to miss it. You need to prevent that damage. That's the first thing you're going to do. Then you're going to launch Lloyd's Stealth. You're, well, I think Wu goes first. First, you're just going to do a, a basic with Wu. You just want to maybe get a little more stealth out there, and you're saving his stuff up for later. And Nooch will take that back. Sometimes Nooch does the heal with Wu immediately because it gives everybody defense up and health up right off the bat in the battle. And when you face Ninjagos, that can actually be really important because you need to get a bunch of defense and as much health on Lloyd as possible. And when you put the damage block on him too, he can really take a licking. So if you're looking at Lloyd as the tank here and with Nooch's undeveloped Lloyd, if you start off the battle with a clumsy on Kai, which we'll see in a minute, or in this case, a clumsy on Redbeard, uh, and you have Kelvin in there. Well, we'll get to Kelvin in a minute. Let's let's finish off these pirates. We see how we get rid of we get rid of Argenta first, so uh, that takes care of that. And you can see we're spreading around the um, the specials. The uh, oh, what are those called? Nooch Nooch can't remember now. Enchanted is that what they are? See, Nooch has just started using Magisto's Tower, so not really used to these. Uh, enchantment. So you can see everybody now has stacks of enchantment because you get that 20% chance every time Wu and Magista use a special ability, they have a chance to gain enchantment. So as you go through this battle, they're going to continue to gain it. And since at Nooch's level with Magisto's tower, the chances to burn a stack of enchantment are only 30% per, you're really going to be able to get, get uh, stacks of enchantment all over the place on all your characters. And then they'll keep that 30% chance to do bonus damage or to counter when they are attacked. So you see we like to, yeah, we like to use Magisto's heal on Lloyd. Now he gets stunned, but you know, since, since Lloyd is going to be taunting, he's going to be stealthing the rest of the team and taking all the damage, if you can get that counter attack on him for sure, yeah, he's got 30% chance to counter attack with his stacks of enchantment, but if you get the permanent counter attack on him, it just helps deal a little bit more damage, you know, just deal some chip damage out there while he's taunting because he's going to counterattack, do his basic, which isn't super exciting for damage, but it gets a little bit more health off your opponents as you go. Looks like we're about to get rid of Valiant here, and that's going to clear us up to uh, hopefully Scarlet will take a turn. So let's get rid of Valiant, 
the axe we're going to target scarlet since we have magisto's ultimate it does aoe damage so let's go ahead and target scarlet it's going to knock out valiant and then we'll see first lloyd takes a turn so we actually talked to with lloyd we're going to sacrifice lloyd for the good of the rest of the team lloyd sacrifice <laughs> so now that scarlet took her turn and she's not talking to me we can go ahead and we're free to knock out Redbeard. Then we're going to take out Scarlet and finish off this battle. So let's talk a little bit more about the upcoming Ninjagos. The next two battles are going to be Ninjago. The first team does not have Wu, and the second team has Wu. But these are like, have Gear 7 characters. The final team has all Gear 7 characters, if Nutri remembers right. You will see it here in a minute. But when you're playing Ninjago, you want to try to get clumsy on Kai with Magisto. Then you're going to use uh, Wu's heal to get defense up and health up for everybody. Yeah, you don't get the heal out of it, but those are really important buffs at the beginning. There you saw that uh, that Ninjago team. Don't <laughs> don't blink. <laughs> you can go back and look at it. But we, we mixed in Kelvin. Then um, you're going to use... I just can't remember where the turn order goes. I think it's Lloyd next, and Lloyd is going to do his... His taunt stat slash stealth up everybody. So watch, well, let's, let's watch the turn order. Here we go. Magisto targets Kai and gets a clumsy on him. So that's important. Then Wu goes with his heal, which is going to give everybody defense up and two health up, uh, max health up. And then Lloyd does his ability. Now with Kelvin, we're going to put damage block on Lloyd. We lost the defense up there when, we, when Lloyd took a turn. But this damage block is going to prevent damage on Lloyd. And there you see Kai missed. That's so important. That clumsy off the bat is so important. And now you can see that Kai uh, is going to... The next shot's going to miss him no matter what. He had, that is um, dodgy. Yeah, so, so the dodgy is going to miss no matter what. As much as you can keep that counterattack on Lloyd, and then you use his second special or his first special to heal him back up a little bit. So he stays. Even, this is a five-star gear six Lloyd. He's maintaining his health against a big old Ninjago team just by putting all the, the defense up, the damage block, the counterattack. You get the dodgy there. So you see that dodge, that, uh, that, uh, go what, uh, damage block <laughs> the damage block on lloyd continues to remain for two turns that's a lot of time to have damage block and now we've got this team down you're seeing you want to get rid of kai as soon as you can so what nooch usually does with ninjago is we stall with lloyd we wait till the guys come out of stealth so that we can take out kai that's nooch's normal method of operation with the ninjago is to stall on lloyd Wait for the stealth to come out, and then get to work on Kai. And second is going to be Garmadon. You really need to try to get Garmadon out of there as soon as you can, but you got to get him out before he does his AOE and heals, heals back up completely. So here, we've limited everybody. You can see this team is really in pretty good shape. Magisto's at low health. Everybody else is doing all right. So this was not a super difficult battle when the Ninjagos did not have Wu. When they have Wu, you got a different battle on your hands altogether, and we're about to show you that here uh, in this second clip. So, one last note. With this not-quite-leveled-up team, Nooch was not able to beat the top Ninjago team in his shard, which is all Gear 7, all maxed out. It's uh, Garmadon, Kai, Lloyd, um, Zane, and Wu. Yeah, Nooch is not able to beat that team. You can see it right there. You see the team right there. That Nooch is. So Nooch is going to beat that second team where instead of Zane, they've got Digi J. And we were able to beat this second team. So Zane, Zane's AoE damage actually makes a pretty big difference in this battle with this lower level. You know, we're still working on getting this team ready to go. So this will be our last battle. You're going to see uh, with the difference with Wu, but we're going to start off with the same turn order. We're going to try to get clumsy on Kai. If you missed the clumsy, there we, we missed it. So it makes it harder because he's going to do a lot of damage on Lloyd. But we were still able to win. So uh, <laughs> don't get too down in the dumps. Okay, so we launched Lloyd's special. We're going to... This is where we're, we're trying to figure out what to do with Ghost. Should we use that second special to get him critical damage up? And I think the answer is yes. And there, the other part of that is with Lloyd. So we put the damage block on him and it also clears that debuff. Then we use the heal 
and counterattack on Lloyd. So he's only going to be countering attacking Lloyd, actually, because he's only one that's stealth at this point. But we got the heal on him, too. So we're only going to be ch getting the chip damage against the opposing Lloyd. But we heal up a little bit. We are going to... So now DigiJ is exposed. So we're going to go with a basic from Kelvin on him. And now we got Kai exposed. So now we're going to go after Kai. Get after that guy. So here we go with uh, Magisto's ultimate. This is kind of the fun part, too, because we have three ultimates on this team. When Redbeard's there, you got four ultimates. And now we launch Wu's ultimate. So now we got Kai with a bunch of debuffs. And the second ability does extra damage for debuffs. And boom, there you go. Ghost damage is not super exciting right now when they have defense up and without. Maybe other spooky heroes will give ghosts more damage. Nooch needs to do a little homework into that. But that damage right there, when when your opponent has a bunch of debuffs, I believe Coda Ghost does an extra 5% damage for each debuff with that, that first special. So we're in pretty good shape right here. We got two guys knocked out. Um, we're going to go after Wu next, it looks like. But probably Lloyd is about to use his special and go back. Yep, we're, he's about to stealth everybody. So now we're going to have to keep hitting Lloyd. Again, we're, we're going to go light on Lloyd until we see that he is ready to finish off. A little bit of heal here for everybody. Then our Lloyd does his special. He's got, uh, well, he's going to take a critical hit this turn. So this could be interesting. But we're going to heal Lloyd up and give him the counterattack so he... Looks like he missed on his counterattack, but that's right. Now he's got damage block too. We lost Kelvin, so now we lose our extra 10% health on the team. We, I guess we felt like we had Lloyd at a point where he could, we could finish him off. And here comes Ghost's ultimate. Let's see if that finishes off Lloyd. We're going to use the ultimate, right? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Again, Nooch is still learning with Ghost, so we're taking our time to make sure we do things. Oh, we hit Woo with it. How about that? See, it's only 4,500 4, damage. It's not super exciting on the damage. And Nooch has to wonder if, I guess the gear levels will help. And then maybe there's a, when you put him on a spooky team or maybe a castle team, maybe there's some extra damage out there that's not available with this magical, uh, with this magical ghost team right now. So you see we're in good shape. We're going to go, we're going we're gonna to finish this off. This is a little more dicey with Wu in there. And again, Nooch is not able to beat the team that had um, that had Zane instead of DigiJ in there. So I guess that would be a defense note for you, Magisto folks. But that might change now that uh, Nooch has actually has Lloyd's ability upgrade. Now he's gonna get some. He's gonna get those accuracy downs on characters now. So that might actually help because if we get some more dodge in there, then those accuracy downs help us miss attacks. That might make our team that much better. And as we upgrade Lloyd and as we upgrade Magisto's tower, this team will continue to improve. And it looks like it's going to be a very viable team in Arena. And if you can put Garmin on in there or other characters that could do some damage or find some other um, synergies yourself. And while you're putting that together, keep in mind, Nooch too good.